A majority of Americans say they plan to watch the first presidential debate. Many eager to see if a moment or a line by one of the candidates emerges that will change the course of the presidential race. Roughly 60% of American adults say they plan to watch the first presidential debate between President Biden and former President Trump. The age of both candidates, a big issue going into the debate. House Speaker Mike Johnson says the oldest president in U.S. history is going to need some help. I expect he's going to be up on energy drinks or whatever they're going to give him. Uh, and he did. He was overly aggressive at the State of the Union. It was pretty painful to sit behind him and experience that. Vice President Kamala Harris predicts abortion will be a major issue in November. Donald Trump handpicked three members of the United States Supreme Court because he intended for them to overturn Roe v. Wade. Writing in the New York Times, Hillary Clinton thinks being the sitting commander-in-chief does not help. Mr. Biden starts from a disadvantage. Being president isn't just a day job. It's an everything, everywhere, all at once job. Historically, that has led to weaker first debate performances for the incumbent. Recent polls show the race in a dead heat, with Trump up in the swing states that will likely decide the election. The top Republican in the Senate thinks Biden made two mistakes in office, which will cost him. One. The $2.6 trillion creating the inflation, and the other basically opening the border. In 1956, Democrats tried to make an issue of President Eisenhower's age. Ike would turn 70 by the end of his second term. At the time, he was the oldest president to hold the office. Today, Joe Biden is 81. Donald Trump is three years younger. In Washington, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.